The second question was uh, related to NATO creating a, a global partnership, partners across the globe. Should we do this? And I think I've sort of addressed it uh, in the first question. Uh, if you look at what's happening in Afghanistan today, there are 50 countries there, 28 NATO countries, yes, but uh, the rest are all partners. And they come from everywhere. Uh, and it's not just NATO on the ground. We also have uh, the United Nations there. We have the EU there. Uh, and a number, of course, of regional states uh, are speaking to us, even if they're not part of the ISAF mission, about what's happening in Afghanistan. I'm special representative for the Secretary General for Central Asia. Our Central Asian partners are deeply affected by what happens uh, in Afghanistan, uh, including when we leave. So having a discussion with them uh, is uh, as much or as important to Afghan security um, as uh, discussing operational cooperation with the 22 other countries that are there with us uh, on the ground inside the country. So do our partnerships matter? Yes, for the reasons that I addressed both in this question and in the previous question. They do matter. They matter to our partners uh, and they matter to NATO. We now have achieved a level of operational cooperation and strategic dialogue with operational partners that we never had before. And actually, I would say no other international organization has either, uh, except, of course, the UN, which includes everybody. But the next step uh, is to build on that and to make sure that we can keep up that cooperation, that interoperability, that our forces can work together, and also that strategic dialogue, even when our operations are no longer happening. Uh, and we, we intend to do that.